Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and a quick update from the Luhansk front. Uh, breaking news from the Ministry of Defense of Russia. They have declared victory over uh, Severo Donetsk and in fact the entire eastern shore, eastern side, eastern bank of the Severinsky Donetsk River. They claim that they have now effectively controlled the entire eastern side of the river. Um, they declared, um, let's see, let me show you. So, uh, the units of the Luhansk People's Republic People's Militia, with the support of Russian troops under the command of the Army General S. V. Surovinkin, Surovinkin, uh, has successfully uh, uh, how to put it? a result of the successful operation, they have completely uh, captured several Donets, uh, Borovskoye, uh, which is Borov, Boriski, Boriske. Uh, Vovronovo and Sirotino, which is uh, Voronov or Vronove and uh, Sirotine or Sirotin, Sirotine. So uh, they also uh, uh, wreck on the Ukrainians. They said the Ukrainians attempt to turn the industrial zone of the Azot plant into a stubborn center of resistance was thwarted. And then the territory of the enterprise is controlled by the units of Luhansk People's Republic, People's Militia. So with the liberation of several Donets and Borovsky, the entire left bank, which is the eastern bank on our map, of the the severely donut uh, is within the border of the Luhansk People's Republic, came under its con full control. Uh, sorry, sorry for the broken English. So um so effectively, despite my map is drawn in this way, because I am a bit more conservative, uh because I I haven't seen any uh any mention of Pavlo Rat or Lisna Dacha. Uh so I don't just close off everything. So tentatively it looks like this. Uh it looks like this. But effectively uh, uh operational speaking, uh the entire Western Bank is now under Russian control. This also then um invalidated the entire claim of Bobrov is under the Ukrainians or even the mention of Novo Kitayaka, which means that all these are deliberate misinformation from uh, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Uh, they themselves also uh, mentioned uh, within uh, let me show you so according to the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine uh, they say that uh, they have deliberately uh, submit information late and uh, and this is due to their military expediency during operation and security measures so the disclosure and distortion of information about the details if official official source actually is det detrimental to them and it, which means that uh, any defeat is your fault uh, you, you are the one who caused the loss of the Ukrainians but anyway the which also means that uh, if they are willing to manipulate uh, information, uh, it is also very likely that uh, they will uh, report false information within their operational information, which is probably why we have a mention of uh, Nubu Kaitiaka uh, stupidly far away from the front. Maybe they want to you know uh, get some Russian forces to go there uh, to check it out, you know, to see if, if you know, the operational information is is indeed true that that could be some uh, Ukrainian forces actually there. Similar similar situation for Bobrov. I I have mentioned the capture of Bobrov a uh, long 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 time ago, and uh, uh, because of their operational information, I you know indicated you know that maybe Bobrov is actually uh, under Ukrainian control, but the fact that there was never reported fighting at Bobrov uh, from the pro Russia uh, from the pro Russian side, and um. This also, you know, makes it very disappointing. Uh, that despite a lot of people say, you know, don't trust the Russian uh, uh, Ministry of Defense or whatever. You no, know, don't trust the Russian sources. You no, know, they are Russian sources. Why are you trusting them? You no, know, this is the kind of information I get from Ukraine, and uh, you cannot blame me for you no know, putting a lot of uh, uh, salt on on whatever they say. You know, because. This is my ex entire experience since the start, the very first day of the war. This is my experience. For the first week, I have no freaking idea what the hell is happening because 
there is so much misinformation from the the Ukrainian side, and uh, and uh, so this is something that I just want to share. It's not a matter of pro Russia or pro Ukraine. I'm just as a fact, you know, if you are doing what I'm doing, plotting every information onto the map, you will start to you know get frustrated, you know, when uh, information turn out to be totally invalidated, it's entirely entirely false. And what's worse is coming from an official source. So, um. So this is uh, the reality now, and uh, this is a very quick capture, and this also uh, validated the entire information of the the withdrawal rumors that coming that coming out from Severodonetsk and Boryskaya that the troops are redrawing. It also called bullshit uh, on the fighting on Mitokhin and Veronov, uh, no, where the the Ukraine. Defense Ministry still mentioned about Mutakine and Vernov under attack. All these are just nonsensical, and um, it's very uh, it's just you no, know, I wouldn't say relief, but it's just frustrating that you no, know, as much as you want to trust them, it's so hard. So, uh, so it it corroborate corroborated so much information, the redrawal, and then the video that of the Ukrainian troops crossing the river. You no, know, so. And then now the information was that is that uh, there is some uh, conflicting official information coming out from different officials from the Ukrainian side. So previously they were talking, they are so proud about the tactical uh, retreat uh, from the Sichans and several Donets to Bakhmut. And then uh, there is some rumors uh, saying that they are now have to resign to defending the Uh It seems like the withdrawal is coming uh, is becoming too risky and dangerous for them. To do a redrawal away from the sea chance as the entire road to Sivas. So Sivas is here. Uh, this this sea chance Sivas highway is under fire control of the Russians. And uh, based on our last report, the Russians is, is already east of Topolivka, which is this little village here. So in uh, this range of uh, two and a half kilometers is well within range of uh, most weaponry. So even even heavy machine guns. So I, uh, although it's, it will be super inaccurate at that range, so um, we might see the Ukrainians try to hold up uh, and and try to defend as much as they can. Rumors, uh, from yesterday's summary, if you haven't watched it, is that the Ukrainians are messing up uh, uh, the reserve from Kharkiv, Odessa, and. Uh, at Mykolaiv to form a breakthrough force that will push for several Donets or rather actually to actually to push towards the sea chance maybe to break uh to break a put open um evacuation uh, channel so that the forces in the sea chance which is a lot of foreign fighters and a lot of their most experienced troops can escape I think that might be something that we will see uh, counter offensive by the Ukrainians to uh, save the troops that is now operationally encircled in DC Shans. So, anyway, um, let's watch what's going to happen next. But, uh, significant report uh, in this quick update Severodonetsk has been captured by the Russian forces. So, is Sirutaini, Furunove, and uh, Boriski. And I'll see you in the next update.